my patients. So I wouldn't really feel it afterwards. There's no side effects. Uh, you know, it is a surgery. You're gonna have. We actually insert um, a screw in your big toe. Oh. Um, that that fuses the joint. It's just this joint, right here. Yeah. You'll still have motion here. You okay. don't want any motion here. But so when you run, you know, you kind of. Yeah, you come off of here. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's uh, disjointed. You don't really bend that. No, okay. this one hardly. It doesn't. Yeah. You see, yours even can't even bend up. Uh, so when you bend up, it moves this one. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't really need that one. It would just be this one, right? Or you do them both? I or? do one at a time. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so we just formed this large callus here, and it hurts him because it gets to a certain thickness. So it puts a lot of stress on his great toe. Let's get so. Uh, yeah, just um, he, he doesn't have much motion here. See, so see, he doesn't want to bend up, right? Mm -hmm. This is as far as I can bend. I can bend it down, yeah. but I can't bend it up. So I think what happens when you bend up is you roll off of this part here. And this happened from the like, car accident. We're we're thinking because remember I, I I couldn't walk for four months. Oh yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. like the, those are probably. Secondary. I think uh, yeah, it's a result of that. Uh, you know, you, you just wouldn't have noticed it because there was more severe problems going on. Well, it's probably just like a lot of soft tissue injury around the joint mm -hmm. that that eventually lo you you know cause you to lose your range of motion. Mm -hmm. And this foot got all the way like the dashboard went. Into yeah, the yeah, knee with your knee. Got crushed. There. Right. Instead of the toe. So we'll just smooth down as much of the dead skin. And we'll do the same thing here. Huh? Yeah, it's pretty thick. And that's even, I, I've peeled it off a few times. Too. You do it yourself. Just because it'll like get really dry and like yeah. stain there. Yeah. So. Are you using a lotion to put on after you can maybe try to soften it or oh uh, what type of is there a specific like eczema lotion would it be there's a couple of lotions i can recommend for you okay. they what they do they just they don't get rid of the callus but they soften it so, so maybe it's like it's, less pain yeah like yeah it. that's the whole the whole goal is just so it doesn't dry out or get so okay. thick so i like to for the patients to use that after it's been trimmed away you have it here, or would that just set you? Ah, no, I think you might be. I'll just give you a prescription for it. Mm -hmm. Then, regarding the surgery, how would we see like what it would be for the insurance? And I can find out for you. I'll ask. Yeah. yeah, that'd be interesting. Oh, uh, it's going to be an outpatient procedure. You just get it done and then go home. Uh, the same time after the case. Because I used to run a lot, so I just always thought this was from running. So it's been well, like that too. It's from pressure. 16 years. <laughs> yeah. So. Because this only grows when there's pressure against it. So if you can eliminate the pressure, it won't grow back. Mm 